this old baby! <laughs> and here we are. Here we are. Taking care of business outside of YouTube. Being the 60 minute man that we are. And still able to come here on YouTube and give a point of view that nobody else can. Because only Pizzle can do Pizzle things. You feel me? <laughs> we are getting so damn close to New York Giants football. To kicking off the season on Monday Night Football. You're damn right against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And you betcha, Pizzle will be here. He will be talking about the Steelers. Just give it some time. Good things come to those who wait. That's why most of you can't be a 60-minute man like Pizzle. You show no fucking patience. But nevertheless, a lot of you have had to deal with a lot of booger-eating, hard, cold takes here on YouTube. But Pizzle wants to open your mind once again. You should get on your knees and thank Pizzle sometimes for being a refreshing beverage to you instead of the sorry ass shit you consume here on YouTube most of the time. A lot of talk about Joe Judge. A lot of talk. And John fans, I think across the board, are a little nervous about this. They're optimistic. But they're all a little nervous because this is our third try since Tom Coughlin, right? This is our third try. Is this just another Ben McAdoo? Is this just another Pat Shermer deal? Or is this the real deal? The last three years for us Giant fans have been real tough. And I have openly said on multiple occasions... The Giants fan base has really embarrassed them fucking selves. They've embarrassed themselves. They've become weak. They've become, they, 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 they let OBJ change the way they feel about the Giants. The way they look at the Giants. They forgot about what real Giants football has always been about. The younger generation who likes to come here on YouTube and talk a lot, they like, to, they like to tell you what Giants football is supposed to be, but they, as I've said last night, can't separate their nose hairs from their ass hair. Real Giant fans, real people who've been following this organization for decades know what real Giants football is all about, and i got to be honest with you. Listening to Joe Judge talk, watching the things that he's doing, I feel it. I do, man. I feel Giants football coming back. Now, that doesn't mean that things are going to be all that great or perfect this season, but I feel like something's being built special here. So a few days ago, I had to ask myself, Pizzle, if Joe Judge, if Joe Judge ends up being one of the greatest Giant head coaches of all time, if he's the Giants coach for the next 20 years, and you have this amazing success, was the last previous three years, was it worth it? Think about that for a minute, all you real Giant fans out there. Think about what you had to go through to get to this point. You had to say goodbye to a hero, Eli Manning, a guy who changed this organization and made it better than the way he found it, a guy who did it with class. You had to watch him go out in not such a good way. You had to deal with multiple, not one, but multiple, two terrible head coaches that embarrassed you, as a fan, to follow the New York Giants. I love the New York football Giants. And I've always, I always wear their gear every chance that I get. 
but make no mistake about it. Even though I'm always proud to wear these colors, I've seen the looks that people give me. And I'm not talking about the women looks because after all, more than likely, whatever booger eater they got walking beside them, they ain't 60 minutes like Pizzle. 60 minutes is a rare breed. We'll talk about that one day. But the fact is, it's been hard to wear this giant gear. It's been hard to keep the stuff on the wall and look at it every single day. When you wake up and you come to this man cave that you put your blood, sweat, and tears in, and you look at this, and you invite your friends over, you invite your family members over, and you dedicate, you dedicate a portion of your home to the New York football Giants, and you have to swallow the pill that the last three seasons we've been one of the worst teams in all of fucking football. It's a hard pill to fucking swallow. But, and listen to me carefully, for all you sorry ass John fans that don't know what real Giants football is about, it will all be worth it if Joe Judge ends up being a New York Giants legend. Those three years will be worth it. All of the pain, all of the disgust, everything you've went through, the sad times, all the crow videos that you've watched me do, and people have come to my page and laughed at me and said, this man's going to have a heart attack. This man's going to kill himself. This man's nothing but EDP. This man's this. This man's that. But I have stood right here. I have stood right here in this position. I have not seeked YouTube fame. I have not seeked monetary gains. I have not seeked anything that puts me above the New York football giants. All I have done is supported this team in the only way that I know how. And if they get back to the promised land, you better believe that Pizzle is going to be first in line or at the front of the, the front of the whole damn pack, telling you, I told you to hang in there because good days were going to still come. When a lot of you kept saying, keep the fire burning. Keep tearing it down every chance you get. How about we rebuild it once in a while? It's been hard. It's been real hard. But some of my brothers and sisters out there who represent this team that has stayed in the good fight with Pizzle, who have not wanted this team to lose late in seasons all because some silly draft pick, you've remained true blue. And you'll never forget this moment in time this video is not some hot take video. This video is not meant to go out there and reach the masses of, of, of epic proportions so I can get on somebody's stupid ass uh, uh, whatever and say, well, look at this. Look what I was on because I made this wild hot take. This is a video that bleeds nothing but fucking bleak, big blue. And if you don't like it, you can kiss Pistol's black ass. Woo!